Hi there. Let's talk about deploying the self-managed offering of Ansible Automation Platform on Google Cloud from the Google Cloud Marketplace. When you're in the Google Cloud Marketplace, if you do a search for Ansible Automation Platform, you will see the tile you see here on the screen. You'll simply click on this tile and walk through the deployment. There are a number of things to consider before walking through the deployment. Ideally, you've already spoken with your Red Hat account team and you've requested and been provided a private offer that you've accepted. Now you're ready for the deployment. When you go ahead to deploy the offering, there is a before you begin link. That before you begin link allows you to activate your Red Hat subscription for the Ansible Automation platform. Then you'll go ahead and provision the virtual machines that you need so you've already determined the size and the architecture of your Ansible Automation platform deployment. Once you have all the RHEL VMs up and running, you will entitle them using the subscription manager. When planning the design for your Ansible Automation Platform environment, please be sure to reference the documentation page for Ansible Automation Platform 2.4. Please visit the planning guide and then scroll down and also visit the installation guide. From the Google Marketplace, I'll select the Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform self-managed offering. I did a quick search and here it is. We mentioned earlier that there's a few things we want to do before we go ahead and launch this deployment. So you can see here I've highlighted the click here area and this is telling you that you need to go ahead and activate your support subscription from Red Hat. So you'll simply click on that and you'll log into your Red Hat hybrid cloud console with your Red Hat account and you'll see here that it just basically said, hey, submitting your activation request. Going back, now, if we scroll down, there's some additional details I'd like to highlight. It's Ansible Automation Platform 2.4. It's running on RHEL Linux, and the package is the Ansible Automation Platform. One last thing to note is, again, for volume discounting here, you'll likely want to reach out to the Red Hat account team. Now that you have, for example, your private offer, you've actually activated the subscription, we are ready to go ahead and launch. Let's go ahead and provide a deployment name. I'm going to stick with the defaults here on this screen, but depending on the size and architecture that you've already designed for your Ansible Automation Platform implementation, you may need to deploy multiple virtual machines to accommodate that architecture. In this example, I'm just going to deploy the one for now. Now our deployment is complete. SSH to the virtual machine that you've designated as your automation controller. This is where you'll want to run the setup from. Before you run the setup, you'll update the inventory file based again on the design and architecture of your Ansible Automation platform, how many controllers you, you want, a private automation hub, event-driven Ansible, the database uh, information, all those details that represent your configuration, and then you'll run the setup script. At this point, our installation is complete. Now we can log in to the Ansible Automation Platform Controller. And now we're ready to activate the Ansible Automation Platform Controller. Select the subscription. Enable the analytics. This will allow you to take advantage of the Red Hat Insights services that are available for Ansible Automation Platform. And now you're ready to automate. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy automating.